this is Alfred with GamingGeek.net and I'm very excited about uh, today's episode because uh, if you haven't uh, seen my previous uh, video and didn't catch the teaser, well we're going to take a look at the Resident Evil remake that was released uh, for the Nintendo GameCube and we're going to see how it performs on the RG552. Now, Previously, I never even bothered to check if this game is going to run on the RG552 uh, simply because uh, the uh, the available GameCube emulators that I was able to get my hands on really didn't play GameCube games all that well. So I tested um, Dolphin, which you can find on the Google Play Store, uh, and I also uh, had uh, my hands on MMJR and MMJR uh, 2 right but this emulator I'm gonna be using and I'll talk about more about this this is like a, a different kind of Dolphin MMJR 2 it seems to be uh, optimized for Android handheld devices so we're gonna uh, take a look at this real quickly so I'm gonna unpause uh, but one one caveat right so I think uh, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done uh, on this uh, emulator. Um, one particular problem that I keep facing is that every time I exit out of the app and have to uh, run it again, uh, the controls uh, reset. So I, I keep having to remap them uh, based on the RG552 controls. Um, a minor, uh, I guess a minor uh, inconvenience, right? Uh, hope, hopefully, well, um, it is an inconvenience, it is uh, what it is, uh, but I'm just excited really to find an emulator that plays GameCube games uh, pretty nicely. Well, I'll leave you to judge that for yourself, but let's take a look. So I'm gonna unpause, and I have the FPS and the game speed at the upper left. So you can see for yourself, right? Not just how it looks and feels, but how well at least the emulator measures performance. Okay. And by the way, I have a copy of this game for the GameCube. Um, I actually played through it back then. Wait, let me just check if my, my volume is max. Okay. So yeah, this is the RG552 in case you're in doubt. There you go, this is how Dolphin, uh, oh sorry, Android 9.0 looks like. I have um, this on max overclock and high settings for the, the fan. Okay, looks, well, um, the preview looks like it's running well, right? So let's go in and skip that. Let's do a new game. Resident Evil. And look at that, right? So, I, I, at least right now, it looks like it's loading well. I have the screen at 100%, so we're gonna choose hiking, because I think that's the easier part. And here you go, Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield. We're gonna go Jill. I beat this game uh, with Jill back then. Well, I mean, Alpha the team is the flying around preview. the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Seriously, mission. Haven't found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. There's Wesker. There's Chris. I don't want to skip this part. I want to see how it plays. 
there's Jill. I forgot who, who this is. I'm not sure if this, this character was... Oh, there was <sighs> Joseph. Run. There, see? Okay, so far so good. But, you know, 
classic typewriter here. That's where we're gonna save our game. Let me just um, practice a bit, right? So we're gonna change to the knife. Exit. Okay. So now let me get my bearing. So this is how you attack. You hold down R and the A button. Okay. What does X do? I don't know. Uh, holding down B makes you run and you have your classic tank controls here okay is there i remember um yeah i remember this this painting is a puzzle Okay, we're gonna... I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Go into another cutscene. Blood. Some graphical Jill. glitches. Let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Now the tough part. If you've played the first Resident Evil game, you should know what I'm talking about. I forgot how I got past this this um, sequence, but let's see. Let's just take a look at the the mansion. Right? Okay, I was never a fan of the tank. Yeah, I'm stalling. I, I just want to take a look at uh, Wesker, right? That gunfire. I'm counting on you to investigate, Jill. Sure thing, Wesker. Okay, so I guess we're going back. Oh well. We're gonna have to face our fears. Let's see uh, what we have in store here. So you have your file, which is uh, probably some some tips. Okay, we'll, we'll exit out of that. And uh, what's this? How do we get... Mm. Oh, there you go. So here's the map, there we are, and the only path that we can go is really this one. Jeez. Let's move a little bit farther, alright. Let's open the door. So some graphical glitching, but um, performance is holding up. And it looks pretty good. Let me just make another adjustment. Let's move this to uh, C.8. X resolution is still pretty good. Let's see if it uh, helps with the graphical glitching. Looks like it did, but let's see. This is the classic scene that I've been talking about. <laughs> Make a run for it. I'll just exit out of this. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a 
still some graphical glitching. It looks like uh, Barry's gonna go with me, right? Oh yeah, he is. He's accompanying me. Does that mean that the uh, zombie's still alive? Oh, or uh, still animated, I guess?
this in this game you you can in this version of Resident Evil I remember you can pick up uh, defensive um, items right like the for for Jill it's the pick that up the dagger okay but she also she also has the
the Resident Evil Remake definitely a must play uh, on the GameCube library. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more um, RG552 uh, performance tests, well, uh, uh, you can go ahead and g give me a subscribe, uh, and I'll make sure that you know um, we have a lot of these uh, videos uh, coming up soon. Right. Once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.